Hey, she said she's at her head. Jazz, Jazz. Um, Look, you, you're all right. You just bang your head. I need to get out. No, yeah, get her out. Come on. Come on, just do it. Ask me how it went. How did it go? I think the term Jay would use is I pulled a blinder. Great. I think you need to come and have a look at this. Can you hear me? I may have single-handedly landed us at our biggest order yet. Yeah. Thing is, I'm not sure that we can cope with the ones that we've got. What you on about? Well, I finished the spreadsheet. And? And the order that's due tomorrow is for way more than we've made. Oh, you, m you must have got it wrong. Give it here. No, I've checked it a dozen times. Since when did they order that much? Would you want me to ring them, put it back? Uh, no, no. We'll manage. Oh, Nikhil, there is no way we can get that finished in time. Well, it's fine. I tell everyone I want a meeting now. Oh. But no, it's, look, it's all right. It just means that we're doing really well. Yeah, staff meeting. Yes. Yeah. Where, where does it hurt? Oh. I told you, get an ambulance. No, I'll be fine. Don't be stupid. Just, just give me a sec. Oh, I am so sorry. It's a bit late for that now, isn't it? Just help me up, will you? No, 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 no. That needs checking out. I mean it. I'm okay. If there's anything wrong with her? You're dead. No, no, I'm fine. Look, no one's hurt. You could have killed her, you idiot. Hey, no. Let's just get out. No, of not here. until he answers me. What's going on in that sick head of yours, eh? Kane, leave it. I don't mind you going around killing people. But leave her out of it. I said that's enough! You need that looking at. Oh, and have some jobs worth getting the cops involved. Well, why not? He needs locking up. Do what you want. Don't tempt me. Just take us home, please. Sam, love, it's me. Nikhil won't let me go and pick Samson up, so you'll have to. I'm sorry, love, but you'll have to tell me you've got no choice. Uh, come on, what have I told you about personal calls? I've got to go, love. Let Ashley know as well, will you? Bye, love. Thank you. Is this a special announcement? Yeah, you're going to pay us time and a half for cooking up our overtime. Yeah, I told you that was a clerical oversight. Oh, very handy. Right, well, as you all may or may not know, things have been going so well recently that we're, we're inundated with orders. Oh, so does that mean we're getting a pay rise, then? As a result, I am in a position to offer everyone who wants it as much overtime as they want. <laughs> well, <laughs> don't all thank me at once, then. For when? Tonight. Oh. Is this some kind of joke? I, I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. So can I count on your support? Oh, yeah, the way you supported us, you mean? Oh, yeah, it's all right when he wants it, isn't it? I'm sure Nikhil will make sure that everybody is paid promptly this time. Yeah. <laughs> right, well, if you don't want the extra work, I'm sure there's plenty of folk out there that would be more than glad of it. Oh, is that a threat? No, of, of course not. Uh, yes, it was. He's basically saying if we don't do it, we're going to get the push. Is that right? Do it or you'll sack us. No, all I'm saying is I need this order doing one way or another. Well, then... You've got yourself a problem. No, yeah, because, you see, us guys have made a unanimous decision and from now on we are working strictly to rule. You what? You can't. Our blinds, pal, we already are. That is very good. Amelia, what exactly is it? Manny too slug. Oh! Uncanny, the likeness is just right. <laughs> Why don't you go and play and we'll clear up here, eh? Go on! I think from now on, I'm going to stick to being a vicar. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm uh, coming round to the tiger look. Oh, yes? Yeah. How long is it until I get you home? Control yourself, Mrs Thomas. There are children present. Don't! Don't! Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... No, don't be silly. Don't be silly. Come in. Come in. <laughs> I was just passing. Uh, thought I'd see you getting on without me. Well, if you've come to have your face painted, Amelia does a very good man-eating slug, doesn't she? Oh, right. Although, the tiger has been something of a hit with the ladies. <laughs> well, I find this scares small children enough as it is. Thanks all the same. I shall leave you to it. The kids' club, I mean. <laughs> no, no, wait, 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 wait. I was hoping to run into you. Oh, yeah? Oh, don't worry. I'm not going to twist your arm into helping out again. Phew. I don't know why I'm saying that. I really enjoy myself. I think Ashley just wanted to take you out for a drink to say thank you. Laurel's been telling me what a star you've been. 
Oh, don't be daft. Like I say, I enjoyed it. So we'll see you in the pub later, yeah? Well, actually, I'm not quite sure exactly what time Paddy's due back, so maybe another time. I'll hold you to that. Don't you think you were a bit harsh before? I should be picking Samson up by now, instead of begging favours, so no. Yeah, it's about time he had a taste of his own medicine. But he's doing the best that he can. No, he got you to say that to us, did he? Of course not. Yeah, well, if you ask me, I reckon he's just milking Jay being away so he can play Mr Big. Oh, you, you've got him all wrong. I think you've been spending too much time in there with him. Yeah, there was a time you'd have been on our side. I am on your side. Well, if we lose this job, then we all suffer, don't we? Uh, well, no, not as much as his wallet. It's my wallet I'm worried about. Skint enough as it is. I'm sorry, love, but the way that lad's been behaving lately, he deserves everything he gets. I reckon Charity were right, you know. Right about what? Well, she reckons he's had it in for us from the start. Oh, that is rubbish. Look, if he thinks we're that wonderful, how come he's been slagging us off behind his backs? He hasn't. It'll be Charity stirring. Well, I reckon it's one rule for him and one rule for everybody else. Yeah, and until he starts playing fair, then he can stuff his own caramel clusters. <laughs> right. Well, the first thing you can do is make me a brew. And then, me and you are having a nice little cosy chat one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, that's right. You don't do talking, do you? Well, you do now. I told you to leave me alone. Of course. This is all my fault. I never said that. Well, you didn't have to. Well, bad luck, sunshine. Because I've been here before, and you are getting help whether you like it or not. It won't make any difference. So what's the solution, Aaron? Drive off a cliff next time? Cheers for that, kid. You're a star. Right. Our Debs is sending the truck over. Meanwhile, I've managed to persuade the owner of your handiwork not to call the cops in. I said I'd pay for it, didn't I? Yeah. Too right, you will. Only you're not going to be repairing it. You what? You're sacking me. Got him one. You can't. You'd defend him after he's tried to kill you. It was an accident. He's right. No, he's not. Now, you listen to me, right? The last thing he needs right now is you turning your back on him. Look, it's one thing him doing a mercy killing on his boyfriend, but this is way off the deep end. Well, just wait until you've calmed down. No, too late. If Ed the Boy wants to kill himself, fine, but he's not taking you with him. Top yourself on your own time, not on mine. Please, Kane. In fact, one more stunt like this, I'll do it for you. Right. Well, looks like it's just you and me, kiddo. You should have killed me while you had the chance. Because now you're stuck with me. Did you talk to them? Yeah, oh, yeah I tried. I, I had to take a phone call. No, they're just bluffing. There's no way they'll go through with it. it listen, Kane has just rung me. What have I said about personal calls? Uh, Charles has been in some kind of accident. What? Did I hear right? Yeah, a car's come off the road or something. Well, is she all right? I think so. It sounds like she's really shaken up, though. Right, well, uh, you should go and make sure she's OK. Well, what about this place? No, I, I can handle it. Well, Just go before I change my mind. Thank you. I want to go with her. No, I can't afford to lose the two of you. But Jazz's family! I'm sure that Jenny's more than capable of dealing with it. It's okay. I'll call if it's anything, all right? Tell her I asked after her, yeah? Yeah. No need for the rest of you to stop. Hiya. Oh, yeah. Bit surprised to see me here, aren't you? Certainly am. Any particular reason? Yeah. Belle asked me. I thought Cheryl was having a piglet, but it was a false alarm. I see. And Leo? Home alone, or have you just dumped him inside? Marlon's got him. What do you mean, dumped? Well, you clearly prefer playing midwife to Cheryl to looking after your own son. Oh, where where's this come from? You've obviously got things covered here, so I'll go back and look after our little boy, shall I? And you don't think you might be overreacting just like a tiny little bit? This was supposed to be your chance to bond with our baby, not farm him out to whoever is passing. What are you talking about? I'm sorry about this. I thought I was doing you a favour. I didn't need a favour. I needed you to be there for Leo. Clearly, your priorities lie elsewhere. Rona. Rona! It's nothing. Slight disagreement with the road and the road one. You crashed. More of a prang, really. Why didn't you call me? What did they say at the hospital? 
You have been? Honestly, it's nothing that a drink won't cure. I don't believe I'm here in this. What about you? I'm fine. Right. Neither of you is going anywhere till I've had the doctor round. No! I mean it. I'd, I'd sooner not have any fuss. Does one of you want to tell me what actually happened? I've got to go. You're not going anywhere. What are you doing here? Oh, Kane rang me. You okay? I know you all mean well, but can just everyone back off, please? Right. Back room. Now, come on, the pair of you. No. Seriously, we just need a bit of space to get our heads straight. First thing tomorrow, I want that scene to. No arguments. Shall we? Are you sure there's nothing I can do? I'll call you if I need you. Well, Nick Hill said to say that he was asking after you. Nick Hill? Yeah, he's dead worried about you. He can be a real sweetheart, that lad. I'll try telling the others that. How do you mean? I think they're about ready to make him walk the plank. Right, well, you tell him from me to watch his back. What do you mean? Just keep an eye on him. Or has this got something to do with charity? Jenny, I'll tell you another time. Uh, thank you for looking after your own son for half an hour, but we won't be needing to keep you any longer. <laughs> you on a boat? Oh, you want me to go? Yeah, me and Rona need to have a little talk. Right, well, you know where I am if you need me. We'll see you later. Yeah. I'm going for a bath. And you don't think you might owe me an apology first? Or Belle, for that matter? <laughs> Evidently not. You could have concussion. Or whiplash. I thought people made that up to claim compo. I'm serious. So am I. Do you want me to go and check on him? No, no, he's, he's cleaning himself up. Just give him a minute. I know what you're thinking. Do you blame me? Look at you. I told you. It's as much my fault as it was his. Have I got idiot written across me head? How about telling me what really happened? <laughs> Sorry, just a bit of shock. You're gonna have to stop kidding yourself. No, oh, maybe this will make him see sense. And if he doesn't, what happens next time? Mm, they won't be here next time. What am I supposed to do? What choice have I got to turn my back on him like I did before? Maybe, if that's what it takes. No, I am not giving up on him, even if everyone else has. No way. I have to. Leaving here won't solve this. If I stay, I'm only going to make things worse. You know I'm right, and so does she. I'm just looking out for her safety. What, and I'm not? After today. Can you give us a sec, please, Diane? Fine. I'll be out here if you need me. Don't you even think about following her. You can't stop me. But I'll give it a damn good go. What are you going to do, eh? And a few more bruises to my collection. Sorry. About before. I shouldn't have jumped down your throat. Is that it? I apologised, didn't I? Well, no. And you're not walking off until we've talked about this like mature adults. Later, I promise. Do you want to know what I think? Something tells me I'm about to find out. Yeah. I think you're a fraud. Wow! Mm -hmm. I think you're a fraud because you spend your whole time going round telling everybody how normal our baby is when you don't even believe it yourself. That's not true. Yes, it is. You're telling me that back there was perfectly rational. I left him for half an hour with his natural father and you act like I dumped him in the phone box. I know that you're worried about him. I'm not worried. Well, what then? I'm terrified. What? You heard. I'm sorry, I don't understand. I thought I could cope. 
going back to work, you know, with all of this, I thought I could cope, but I can't. And it's not because he's different, it's because of me. Because I, I worry about him so much. Come here. What did you say? <sighs> I didn't know myself. I didn't want to admit it. My God, look at me. I've turned into one of those hysterical mothers who can't leave their child to go for a pee. Right, tomorrow, I'm going to be the locum and you can stay at home. No. Yeah. For one day, I'm going to be wearing the trousers. I just, I just thought, you know, that if, if you could spend a little bit more time with him one-on-one, -on -one, then you wouldn't feel... Left out. I don't. I did. You know, for like, a bit. But I don't anymore. I just wanted you to bond with him. To feel what I feel. I do. I didn't at the beginning, but... Look at him. How can you not? I love spending time with him. But not if it means that you don't. I'm sorry. For freaking out. I'm sorry for pinching a patient off you. Behind your back. <laughs> make a deal. We'll both stay at home. And all the poorly little animals? <laughs> you just have to take the chances. If we keep Nicky on, then we can take turns staying at home. Job share? Yeah, exactly. Deal. Deal. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? You seem so sorted before the trial. Maybe it was a thought they'd find me guilty. You weren't. It doesn't make any difference. They found you innocent, Aaron. Why can't you accept it? I thought I could. So what's changed? What that lawyer said. That Jackson still had a life. Well, the jury didn't believe it. Yeah, but I did. And then when I saw Jackson's video diary, the way he was laughing and joking, they were right. No! I gave in and I should have fought harder. You had no choice. Yes, I did. I should have stuck it out. No one blames you. Yeah, well, I do. I blame me. Yes, but by punishing everybody and you, I mean, it's only making things worse. Then why do you think I want to leave? You've got to let me go. No. I'm not safe to be around. Yeah. Well, today was a wake-up call, wasn't it, for both of us? It won't stop. You don't know that. Yes, I do. If I stay here... I'm going to help you! You can't! All you can do is tell me what you think I want to hear. How much you love me. I do. I don't want it. I killed him. And now I've got to pay for that. I think they're all right in there. Until half an hour ago, I would have said yes. <sighs> Maybe I should go in. She'll tell us if she needs us. The other day, she made a joke about Aaron being the death of her. Well, at least I thought it was a joke. I'm not so sure now. It was an accident, wasn't it? But you can't think he really wanted it to happen. Who knows what goes through that lad's head? But someone needs to sort it out and fast. I have to knock this on the head now there's no more overtime. I will come crawling back. Nicole, you're right. Well, how else is he going to get the orders done? Mm, by hiring someone else? No, he won't. Anyway, it gives us a chance to go out tonight. Tonight? Yeah, celebrate my mate Kara's new job. Jammy cow, she's going to be earning twice what we do. No, oh, I don't know. Don't be so soft. Be a good night. Yeah, well, I'm skin, aren't I? Thanks to you. I was sticking up for your rights. What's this really about, anyway? Nothing. Well, it is, so come on, out with it. You know what it's like. Everyone will have a few drinks, and then the next thing you know, it'll get passed around, won't it? Yeah. No, Holly, it won't. It's too soon. Well, I thought this was your last week on methadone. Yeah, which is exactly why I don't want to blow it. Look, Holly, you won't. I'll make sure you won't. I've told you, I'm not going. Now, could we please change the subject? You didn't ask for this. Any of it. 
Jackson begged you. And you know what? I am really starting to hate him for it. What? I don't care how hard it was for him. He had no right forcing you to go through this. You don't even know what you're talking about. Why can't you see? You did it because you had the guts to do what his own mum couldn't. Yeah, well, I should have been stronger. You are strong. You are one of the strongest people that I know. No. I took a life, mum, his life, for nothing. You're wrong. Do you know what? I should have done a proper job of crashing that car today. Don't say that. How sick is that? Now do you see why I need to go? Because I won't stop. What, until you kill someone? Yeah. Until you kill me? It is not too late to sort your life out. You can still get back from this. I don't want to. Well, that's it, is it? You're just going to give up? Should have been me that died. Not him. Tough. None of this was your doing, so why don't you just get over yourself and deal with it? You really think that smashing up a few cars is going to make you feel better? Well, guess what? It didn't. What, you're going to hear me now, are you? Because come on, what are you waiting for? Fill your boots! Because it won't make you feel any better. I told you, I am not giving up on you. So come on, Aaron, just do it!